This year we started the Ray Price Motorsports Expo simply because we wanted to expand the activities. We've been looking at expanding every year and that's part of the sport of the activity and the event is, is to make it bigger and greater and more fun and, and, and more activities and so this year we had the opportunity to expand it into the uh, convention center which gives us a lot of space to display a, a lot of bigger rigs and, and opportunities of having different activities that we couldn't necessarily put, put on the street because we had more than the street would handle. And you know, it's, we're fortunate and, and appreciate the fact that the city it allows us uh, and is part of partnership with us in having this activity and closing down Main Street all the way from one end to the other, plus all the adjoining streets. Our whole purpose is, is to make it greater, but at the same time, make it more fun and more available and more exciting to everyone attending whether it's a local business person or a local person that lives in town and because we like for them all to be able to have to benefit from it and we like for the local business to benefit by having extra business from all the people to come into town when we have over 100,000 people coming into town everybody's got to eat everybody's got to have uh, the facility that's there and uh, everyone, every business in downtown close to Main Street, anywhere near, has an opportunity to promote their business and, and we welcome it and we encourage them to do that. And so that's the whole purpose of having an event that everybody can be involved and enjoy at the same time promoting uh, the activities of motorcycles. So when Ray tasked us with the second major element of the bike fest the ray price motorsports expo he said if we're going to do this we need to do it right we need to go all in and uh, and we did that we didn't know if the old adage if you build it they will come would happen with the motorsports expo and it did and uh, we worked really hard to make sure that the experiences inside the convention center were perfect for the clients that were coming in our goal was that when people left that expo, they saw things that they had never seen before, and they were glad that they took the time to come in there and mill around in all the festivities. We had some really unique elements in that, in that expo, uh, the cornerstone of which was the, the bike show that uh, took a lot of effort and a lot of organization to, to put on. And again, we didn't know if the bike show participants and ultimately the builders would come and support a brand new venue. It was a risk. It was a risk for the vendors. It was a risk for the elements. It was a risk for the talent. And it was a risk for the bike show participants. We knew that the street would be full. Would those people walk over one block and inside a big building and find their way into the convention center? And they did and it was really, really exciting. The different elements inside the expo were uh, very, very vast in what people were doing and, and, and where they came from. We had a BMX crew in there doing stunts off of ramps. We had the Globe of Death, which is the two dirt bikes that were spinning around inside a metal ball. We had a trials rider in there that was doing stunts on uh, boxes and trailers. Uh, really stuff that customers maybe have seen on TV or maybe didn't even know existed and got a chance to experience. We had several classes in the bike show, which was my favorite part of the expo this year and, and my favorite part of Bike Fest. Uh, we had an invited class uh, with custom bike builders, experts in the industry. Uh, we had new builders, we had experienced builders, we had builders who had won in the past, we had builders who were trying to chase their first trophy, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Again, an element that we didn't know would come together un like it did until it took off. And we decided that if we registered 100 motorcycles, it would be a huge success. And we registered 147. When we planned all this, Ray said, if you're going to do a show that involves multiple motorcycles, multiple uh, manufacturers, make sure customers see things they haven't seen before. That's the point. And we did that. Customers came up to us all day long and all weekend long and said, wow, I've only seen this in a magazine. Wow, I've only seen this on TV. And it's so cool to see it in real life. And that was a very rewarding 
part of that motorcycle show is that we gave the venue, Ray Price provided the facility and the venue and the event, and the different uh, participants came and supported it, and it really turned into a really, really fun time for everyone that was involved. Yeah.